This morning, I just want to uh, share a very simple message with us, uh, bringing our attention to the fact that the God we serve, the God of the Bible, is the God who heals us. I want to deal, I want to address uh, two of these misconceptions this morning uh, and just present biblical truth in, the, in relation to these things. There are two common misconceptions that many people carry in them. One is that God is the one who makes us sick. God may heal me if it is his will. So in order to deal with these two misconceptions this morning, we're going to present three simple truths. First of all, the revelation of God's nature. Second, we're going to deal with the revelation of Jesus Christ. And third, the revelation of God's promises. Let's talk about this. The revelation of God's nature. Throughout scripture, especially the Old Testament, the Lord intentionally revealed himself to his people through what we call as Jehovah titles. So there are 52 of these. Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Nisi, or Jehovah Jireh. We're familiar with many of these. Each of these are a self-revelation of God. God disclosing a certain aspect of his nature to his people. So this is who I am. I'm just revealing something more of myself to you. It's a revelation of his nature. And God always says and acts consistent with his nature. So God always acts consistent with his nature. He's not going to say, this is who I am, and then do exactly opposite of that. And so you and I need to come to that understanding. Say, God, you are the Lord, my healer. And therefore, this is my expectation. Just like the Bible tells me, I believe that you will heal. You will keep me in health and strength, body and mind and soul. And I'm, I'm absolutely convinced who my God is. Number two, the revelation of Jesus Christ. There is much that the Lord Jesus came to do when he came into this world. He came to reveal God to us. The Bible is saying like this in Hebrews 1 verse 3 from uh, the Passion Translation is up on the screen. Let's read it. It says, the sun is a dazzling radiance of God's splendor. The exact expression of God's true nature. His mirror so do you want to know what God is really like? Don't look at Job. Job is good. But don't look at him. Don't look at Joseph. Don't look at Abraham. Don't even look at Paul or Peter. If you really want to know what God is like, look at Jesus. So don't base your theology on Job. Base your theology on Jesus Christ. Because he is the exact expression of God's true nature. He's still the same. The Bible tells us, and you know this verse, Hebrews 13 verse 8. You know, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The Jesus of the Bible, the Jesus of the Gospels is the Jesus of today. And the church has one responsibility to represent him accurately. Represent him accurately. Say what he said. Do what he did. The last one. The revelation of God's promises. You know, every promise of God is a revelation of God's will. So if he made a promise, it means he intended for you to have it. Don't question it. That's his will. That's why he promised. This is a word to the church. James is writing to the church, the believers. And here's what he writes in James chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Verse 15. And the prayer of faith will save the sick. And the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Look at the language. There is no element of maybe, might be. No. It's nothing like that. Are you with me? 
And this is a promise to the church, to you and me. This is what the church is supposed to be doing, what you and I are supposed to be engaging in. And that's something all of us can do. Amen.